Really quick video on chainsaw piston clearance to top of cylinder, also known as squish. So I didn't have a plastic gauge, which it's easier to use solder, soft solder. But this was too big and I didn't have any small stuff. So I took it over to the, uh, the anvil and mashed it down here. As you can see, well, that's what, 40 thousandths, 40, 50, yeah, about 40. And just kind of wrapped it so we can put it in here and it will come up to the top. Which it comes up and it will kind of stick but that's the softest substance, so that's what you want. That's why you don't want it this thick because you might <laughs> not get it through or might end up mashing something in there besides that. But that's pretty good, so feel that it's tight and take it back down so you can get a little bit of a throw on it, a little bit of run at it, and then there. Push her up here. You should hear it. Right there. See how she's tight? But it goes through. You can see right there where it squished it a little more. The same way. I mean, you can't really see it, but you see that oil. Because every time when you put a new one together, this stuff had been sitting on the bench for oh shit a year. And so all the bearings are going to be dry. So I don't know, just something high quality lubricant, um, synthetic, and on all your bearings, your, this won't focus. Not only your crank bearings and seals, but your big end and little end uh, roller bearings, needle bearings in there. So now, you can see, we got Just a little over 20, which is perfect. Plenty, plenty. This is gonna be a firewood saw. We're gonna negate the base gasket, um, which is, stock base gasket is about 20. So we're gaining about 20 thousandths on, what it's gonna do is, is make the piston go up in the cylinder quite a bit, 20 thousandths further, and uh, give you that much more compression. Now, in, since we're not using a gasket, we've got to use gasket maker. Um, you can use Permatex number two, but it doesn't set, um, and it, it takes a while. But well, this is one minute, boom, she's ready to roll. Squirt it on there. So all I'm gonna do is pull the cylinder up uh, threads out about that far and hold it up. Spray some uh, either brake cleaner down in there probably. Air it out. Squirt this all the way around the edge. Push it back down and then torque it down tight. And we'll have a good seal and it will be uh, very, very thin.